Hey folks, we're going to be doing a video today on Springfield Weather Instruments. This is an older unit, probably from the 70s, but it's in perfect condition. I got it off of eBay. And it's a dial style or analog weather stations, and it's there right behind me. Really nice complement to your shop or inside your home or wherever you like it at. But I just got um, tired of the battery operated ones, the digital. Uh, which I love. I mean, you can see, see my Davis hat right here for Davis Weather. Uh, but this is just a simple setup so I can come out here and shop, see what the temperature is and the humidity and all that good stuff. So I'll take you a little, let you look at it, see what you think. All right. But it's a nice little weather station, y'all. It has the thermometer. And right now she's about 65 degrees. Getting close to 70. I got the wood stove going. And down here is the barometer. And it's dead on the money, y'all. When I every day or every so often I move this dollar here and just move it to that point right there. And if the weather changes, you'll know. I mean, if it moves up or down, you know you got a weather change or fallen barometer, or rising barometer. And down here is your humidity gauge or hygrometer. It measures the, the humidity in the air and this and that. And it's it's pretty much dead on. Um, but I'll take it off the wall. Here's what it looks like. It's really nice and it's got little slots in it all the way around so you can get an accurate temperature reading um, but I'll take it off the wall the only one you got adjustments for is the uh, barometer right there and then inside there's a little slot that you can adjust it with a small flathead screwdriver there it is right there but yeah, but these are nice weather stations, y'all. Uh, Thirty-five dollars and free shipping on eBay. It was she won. I think the lady won thirty-nine. Uh, Forty thirty-nine ninety-nine for it. And let me hang this puppy up. Hold up, y'all. Okay, y'all. I have it uh, hung back up, and like I said it, it it's accurate. And this morning it was like, what the concrete floor and all, it was like uh, probably down to about 95% humidity this morning. But you see, this is an open building. I mean, right there, air comes through there. And it's ventilated all the way around. So it's good in the summertime and winter. And see, now I've got the wood stove going. As you can hear the fan blowing. Then I have the fan going up there. Which helps me to keep the humidity down. Alright. Well, here is the readings. I'll take you inside the shop. And let you uh, see what I got. I have to take you inside the office again, that is. But we're at I mean 70 degrees in here. Out here in the shop. And humidity, the, we're at like uh, 10, we're at like 10, 30, 5 on the middle bars. Okay. And the humidity is about 65%. All right. Here we go. We're going inside the office. I'll like, let you look at the Davis manage view. Okay, In, this is this is completely insulated. This this office is, but right here, turn light on. Sorry, oh, sorry about the glare, y'all. Uh, let me get this puppy straight. Gotta hold tight a minute. Oh yeah, a lot better. Okay, but uh, 
As you see, the hum um, humidity outside or inside the building is 49%. Of course, it's insulated. And I have a heater in here also, an electric, he electric heater. And 54% outside air. So it's pretty close. Really close. And the barometer is 30.64, which that's accurate. I mean, it really is. Um, outside, it's about the same, same uh, barometric pressure. And here's my other traditional station, my expensive, expensive deal uh, to keep cod. And that tells you what the humidity and all is doing. It's about the same exact pressure. So it's working good. I'm, I'm really happy that everything's working good. So anyway, that's my little rundown. We'll go back outside here. And, I mean, out in the, in the big part of the shop. And I'll see what's going on. But it's a Springfield station made in USA. And they're nice, nice little weather stations. You know, old style type, traditional style, I call them. But good, inexpensive weather station. Pick them up off of eBay or Amazon. Get you, get you one. All right. Well, anyway, y'all, I want to do a quick video of um, inexpensive, traditional, dial type or analog weather stations. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a great one. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. Uh, God bless and semper fi. Y'all have a good one out. Good one, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you like. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.